Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mr. H, and today I thought I would draw some hands, some cartoon hands. So I'm drawing these hands, and the reason I say cartoon hands is because the hands only have four fingers, okay? So I like to practice with the cartoon hands because, you know, a lot of times with animation, you reduce the number of fingers to make things a little bit easier. You're sort of simplifying. But also, you know, drawing hands is a really complicated, difficult task. So often, you know, if you're if you're working on that, you probably want to start with the four-fingered hand and, and sort of get good at that, and then you can move on to the uh, five-fingered hand and get more realistic. But it helps to really get the structure down on the cartoon hands to so draw the hands from all kinds of different angles in that kind of cartoon form just as a way as like a stepping stone to the more advanced level stuff. So you can see that in this hand that I just drew, I started with sort of a pentagon and that's like the underlying structure that I like to begin with. And that's a tip that I saw Jim Lee, the uh, famous artist of uh, Batman comics. Uh, he works, uh, does a lot of uh, stuff for DC. Um, I saw him do that in a demo and I thought that was a really, really great tip and I adopted it. So I recommend starting with a, a five-sided polygon as a, as a good foundation for, for drawing hands. So you can see that all these drawings are pretty rough, doing a lot of erasing, trying to get the spacing right, trying to get the shapes just right. Um, notice that on both of these hands here, I've got the sort of the palm of the hand. There's like these two curvatures at the base of the palm, right? So you have these two sort of masses right there that you want to sort of emphasize. And then as the hand sort of goes from the hand to the to the wrist or the arm, I've got sort of like a like a, a, a cylindrical shape there. And I'm sort of drawing the sort of classic cartoon gloves. Now I want to make sure that I have a little curvature on that cylindrical shape and the transition between the arm and the hand and that gives the illusion of a 3D shape or form. Now notice on this last drawing right here, I'm drawing through. So I'm overlapping the two fingers that are sort of curled in, okay? And having that drawing through and sort of spacing those two things Drawing through really helps me to figure out where everything's going to be placed. So don't be afraid to draw in those extra lines and then erase them later. So I think drawing hands, sitting down and just focusing on hands is a great exercise to work on every once in a while. And that way when you're doing those more important drawings, you have that extra practice. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Perfect.